Ow. <laughs> Hey, have you ever had a uh, Instagram versus reality moment? Uh, well, mine happened late last year when I was in Italy. Now, not to say Italy wasn't a beautiful place. It was, it was gorgeous. I mean, everything you see in pictures and videos don't do it justice. But uh, the part that I guess I wasn't really prepared for and that none of the travel vlogs and TikToks could prepare me for is getting from place to place. Well, obviously, for those of you who don't know, Europe has some of the best public transportation in the world. Uh, just very efficient, very easy to get from country to country for a relatively affordable cost. Uh, it's great. However, once you get to your destination, sometimes a village, often a village, it, you're kind of restricted to what the resources, what the infrastructure they have there is. And in the case of Lake Como, they don't really have regular cabs picking people up, or and certainly don't have Uber available. now. When I looked it up on the map and I was planning everything out, it was only about a mile and a half. You know, we walked at least 10, 10 to 15 miles a day the entire trip. You know, one and a half miles, nothing. We got this. Uh, but what I realized when we got there is that one and a half miles from the boat dock to the Airbnb was all uphill. And not just like a slight slope, but I'm straight, straight uphill. And that's because the village that we stayed at was on the side of a mountain. So we had to go up a mile and a half all the way to the top. And that's carrying luggage, which now in the beginning of the trip, uh, I only wanted a backpack. But pretty quickly into the trip, as we started collecting things and that backpack started to get heavier, we realized we needed a, uh, luggage to put all of our souvenirs, etc. in. That came to bite us in the ass when we got to Italy and we had to go up that one and a half miles up the top of a mountain. As you can see here, Patty was not happy with me, understandably so. We were also very hangry. Eventually, somebody started walking behind us and, and saw that we were struggling and offered us a ride. She would just happen to be walking from, from the boat dock back to her, her, uh, her house or her apartment and then said, hey, I live up the road, let me give you a ride. At this point, everything that our parents taught us, everything about not taking rides from strangers, especially in like a different country, um, all of that went out the window because I was like, at this point, killing me would be better. So like, I'd, I'd take it. Luckily that didn't happen. Luckily, Helena was a sweetheart, took us all the way up the hill. Uh, it was it was a lifesaver. It's not a beautiful road. <laughs> oh, we would've had to climb a lot of stairs, huh? <laughs> uh, I mean, it was the right way to go up by uh -huh. the walk, but uh, without the luggage. And if you couldn't see in the video, these roads are narrow. I mean, super narrow to where if you're walking, you have to go to the side, lean against the wall just so a car doesn't hit you. So going down these 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 roads, sometimes other cars are coming up the opposite direction. So we'd have to wait and, uh, while they kind of wiggle in and try to get through. It, it was just it was a culture shock just to see how these people are driving in these super narrow mountain roads. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's very quiet, so it's not far from the, from the town. Mm. What's the closest town? Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Mm. It's a little village, but it's very close to the town and to the border of Switzerland. No? So I work in Switzerland and I live in Italy. The is good now. <laughs> oh, do you use Euro in Italy? Hmm? Do you use the Euro? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Your friends? No. <laughs> How is the weather now in Texas? It's uh, It's been hot. It was uh, very hot the last uh, month in here, mm -hmm. but now it's becoming a bit cool. Is it like the hottest, like the like, record highs? Uh, yes, this summer was very, very hot. 40 degrees. <laughs> Italy is facing record highs as many parts of the country have felt temperatures of over 40 degrees Celsius. Authorities to issue red alarms in 26 cities, including Florence, Rome and Venice. The red alarm is the highest warning level in Italy. So Helena picked us up, made recommendations, dropped us off, wouldn't accept anything, any money. It just did out of the kindness of her heart. It was it was really cool. And the restaurant she recommended was say magnifique. The, I, I ate so much pizza while I was in Italy and I like lost weight. It's just something in the bread over there. I don't know. It's it was just, you know, I eat one slice over here, I gained 10 pounds. 
I eat five pizzas every day, uh, I lose weight uh, over there. I don't know how that works, but I ate a margarita pizza. Uh, we walked back and um, yeah, this Airbnb. Oh, let me tell you, this Airbnb was beautiful, like going back in time. It was this old building and the person who ran it also lived there in a separate building. You go up these stairs and you're greeted with this view houses other whatever you call villas i don't know but it's, it's a beautiful view all the same i mean it's sure it's just an alleyway but i don't know it was just gorgeous walking through it's just just white it's bright uh very very old school feel in my opinion just patty still not talking to me at this point so here's the kitchen now you see some plastic wrap some cookie some pelicola and uh yeah so let's go check out where the magic happens oh, don't trip there like i did so again, more white, very like rustic feel in a way. I don't know. I don't know what rustic means, I guess, but it's very, very old school. A bidet, you know, your boy gotta try that. Probably too much, too much information, but yeah, that was a pretty strong stream. I'll just leave it there. The shower, you know, nothing much there, but this view again, beautiful. I don't know, something about the green, just the old school feel to it. Uh, I love it. Also kind of bold to uh, have like a straight up door to your bathroom facing out to your neighbors. I mean, I don't know. it's Italy, right? When, when, in, when north of Rome. My favorite part of this Airbnb was how close it was to this, this bell that would ring. Every hour, on the hour, it would ring. Or even every 30 minutes, it would, the bell would toll. And what I liked, and Patty and I liked about this, is that it made you feel like like you could feel time at least at home like time will just fly by and if i'm not careful i'll just lose an entire day without even realizing it but over there when the bell would toll i knew 30 minutes had passed so if i was on my phone on tiktok looking at places to go and i would hear that that bell toll it would tell me oh i've spent 30 minutes doing this which would slow me down stop me and say okay well i, I want it i'm here in italy let me go experience it get out of the airbnb and that's something that i, I guess i miss from that experience something i would love at home something of a constant reminder of of time so i could feel time so you know I would hopefully waste less to less of it but yeah you know, probably not I'd probably just <laughs> become white noise after a while uh, but that was a really cool experience. Uh, Italy was was amazing. This is just one part of it. Uh, it was an amazing part of it. Spent three days living there. It felt like we were a local, even though we couldn't speak the language. But it, it was it was a cool experience all the same. And and if I if I could pick a place uh, to retire, we would be on a side of a mountain in Italy. And. Uh, Next time, I think I'd pack less luggage. If you watched this far, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, I plan on making more travel videos. I have so much footage from the last few years of, of different trips and vacations, and I want to share it with you. So if you like to, if you liked it and, and uh, you'd like to see more, you know, let me know and yep, whatever. I hate doing that kind of stuff. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. See you next time.